Okay, on this bathroom, I am in uh, Pensacola, Florida. And the reason I'm here is a customer of mine I've done work for uh, in the past has bought a house down here and asked me to come down here and renovate their bathroom. This bathroom is probably a good 20 years old, if not more. I think it was probably from the 80s, uh, possibly late 70s. Um, so it's seen its better days. So what we have is a pretty basic standard um, self-sticking tile, which you know was kind of weird, but that's going to come out. Um, the customer puts this new Pergo wood flooring down, so that's what this green pad is. Um, eventually, it will go up to the door jam, and then my tile will meet there. Uh, so what we're going to do on this is is take out the tub and build a shower. That's what they want. So. Um, I have to get all this stuff out of here. This is kind of a weird looking window and I don't know what they're going to do about that. I think that'll stay. Um, whoever the homeowner was put this little trim around it with these tile pieces. It's kind of stupid looking. And shelves up where you wouldn't expect them and little niches where you wouldn't expect them. Um, kind of a strange thing. And a foam jack. Look at that. A foam jack in the bathroom. Anyway, so the door is going to come out so I can get more room in here. Uh, the self-sticking tile is coming out, the toilet is coming out, I'm going to take out the tub. My expectation, although I hope it's not true, is that this tile is on um, some laid cement. So in other words, there is some lathing um, that they embedded with cement and then they put the tile over that. Uh, sometimes this is what they call sandwiching. Sometimes it's sheetrock and then sheetrock and then tile over that. But because of the age of the house, my expectation is that this is a very heavy wall. But it might not be, so I might get lucky on this one. But the wall is going to come out first. Once the wall comes out uh, from that, um, actually I just cut a perimeter around the tile, pull out the whole wall. Uh, once that's out, then I'm able to unhook the tub and get the tub out of here. At that point, I'll take out the fixture. Obviously, they're going to buy a new shower fixture. It'll still go on the same side. Um, I'll build a curb. In this case, it looks like I have about uh, probably a good part of a foot, if not 14, 15 inches between the tub and the toilet. So I'm going to try and put the curb out a little bit further so that I can get a bigger shower out of this. Um, so the curb will end up being right here going across. Um, there'll be a 2x2 two two on a mat tile um, that's going to go on the inside of the shower floor um, and then I think it's 1818 travertine it's a walnut looking you know darker brown travertine and the 1818 is going to go square all the way up I think there'll probably be some type of border at this eye level here and I believe I'm doing a niche on this back wall um, I'm not sure about that yet the 1818 tile will go all the way to the top and there's going to be transition strip to go on the side here and the side here going up eight foot. Uh, transition strip is a lot cheaper than using a trim tile. Trim tiles typically are you know, anywhere from five to ten dollars a lineal foot so it gets expensive. So I believe that's how this bathroom is going to go. The drain, unfortunately, this is a slab floor here so the drain is going to end up staying where it's at basically. When I take tubs out uh, the new construction is that they have a square in here and that you're looking at dirt and so that sometimes I'm actually able to get the drain out from the wall another four or five inches and then just set it where it's at and then sometimes I can't because that square isn't big enough and then the drain will have to remain where it's at so inevitably that two by two tile will start up here at a higher um, level and then it will slant down to where that drain is going to be um, on wood floors, I can always move the drain to center, but concrete floors, I can do it, but it requires a lot more banging up of the concrete and everything. He doesn't want to do all that, so we're going to leave the drain where it's at. And that's basically it. Uh, it'll be both a nicer tile, obviously. This is very dated, yellow, ceramic, you know, nothing tile. Um, so it'll look nice when it's done. I've already kind of imaged it in my mind. Um, I believe they're getting a new vanity. So the vanity and the sink top will change out. I think they're going to save the faucet. And they're definitely getting a new toilet. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. 
It's just a tub to shower conversion is what I'm doing here. And uh, this is day one. I anticipate probably about five days on this. Yeah, it might go into six, but this is this is pretty standard five day job. So I'm gonna get started and get all this stuff out of here. Okay, I am done with this bathroom and um, it's actually looking pretty good. This, uh, this tile is very thick. This um, polished travertine is very thick and it just so happened to match up to this floor. I was gonna put a, um, the aluminum transition strip that I normally do uh, to protect the tile against vacuum cleaners and stuff like that. But in this case, um, the transition strip was kind of redundant. Didn't really need one on here. Um, it's a really good smooth transition from this uh, pergo floor to the tile. Um, they wanted a diagonal, of course, and so that's what I did. Uh, shower turned out pretty good. And um, this is also the 18 by 18 travertine. Normally I like to do the contiguous curb tops, but um, I didn't have one. They don't have them down here in Florida. So I wasn't able to do it on here, but I did use uh, the 18. And then uh, I think there's about a four inch cut down at the end that I put down at the end. I didn't want to split the difference because I didn't want like a two inch over here and a two inch over there. So that's what I did. Uh, the curb top is sloped in. They currently have a shower curtain because they're they're literally using the shower. I mean, a day after it was finished, um, but eventually they'll put um, a panel and then a door will go right here. Probably a 24, 28 inch door will go here as well. And so this curb is sloped downward for that. Um, the tile is on a on a mat. It's a two by two tile, but it's on a mat, and so that's all sloped down to the drain. Um, I was trying to get the drain a little further out, but as you recall, this is a bathtub and the best I could do was about, well, it looks like about six inches, seven inches out from the wall. Anyway, uh, they didn't want to foot the bill for the trim pieces, the bull nose and stuff like that, so I ended up using the transition strip, um, a copper color transition strip. It's not quite the same thickness as a tile. This tile is very thick, but that's what they wanted and that's what I did. I would still rather have used a bull nose or some type of trim, same trim as I used in the niche. Um, the border that they chose, uh, this is also on a mat and these pieces came off of the mat for the top and the bottom and then this is glass so we used three rows of this glass with a different color grout to match that as well as inside the niche. Um, that's I think about three sheets of glass that tile that's in there. Uh, same thing, use a different color grout on that. Um, this trim, which would have been nice had it been darker, uh, to put on the side here is what I would prefer to do. Um, they couldn't find anything darker at Home Depot, so that's what we ended up using. It didn't turn out too bad. And of course, the niche is sloped in, so the water uh, drains off of it. Took the tile all the way up to the ceiling. You know, a new shower fixture um, got installed. And, you know, it, it, it's okay. It's a whole lot better than what the tub was. And uh, that's that's about all there is to it. That's that's uh, how you take out a tub and make a shower. Um, this took me, I said five days at the beginning. I think it took me six days because um, the issue that I had with the concrete um, slab. Well, actually, the slab was was so low compared to the P-trap. The P-trap is under grade level. In other words, um, you have about five or six inches of concrete that is a slab and then the P-trap is up under that. Usually it's a little deeper so that I can I can make my transition back up and put a drain in um, to this slab level. But in this case, it wasn't possible. I had to pour about another, I think about two inches of concrete on top of the slab. Um, and so that's kind of the reason that, um, that I ended up taking six days because I had to wait for that concrete to dry. But um, pretty much it's five days in now. And um, of course, put a new toilet in. It's a water saver toiler, so it has uh, little buttons on here. Number one and number two for number one and number two. A little bit of water for one, a lot of water for two. Um, I think these toilets are basically free in Georgia because you get a rebate. I think it's a hundred dollar rebate, and they cost about a hundred dollars. So um, I put quite a few of those in. Um, they managed to get a really, really nice vanity, which which I like. It's actually real wood. And I think they spent a, a good amount of money for it, but um, it's kind of sort of freestanding. 
and it worked out really well. In fact, it's the same size as the old vanity. Uh, this top um, came separate. It's a marble top with, uh, it's not even an undermount sink. This is really cool. Most of them nowadays are undermount sinks that are glued on. This one is actually contiguous. There is, there is no break. I don't know how quite that they did this, but um, there, there's nothing there. There's no ridge at all whatsoever. So it's just this marble looking thing and then, and then the white sink below it um, with a pop-up. Uh, the pop-up is really cool. I like those. And uh, of course a new faucet. Um, the rest of it, uh, I don't do. I don't do painting or any of that stuff, so that's up to them. But I'm done in here, and this was a pleasure to do. It turned out really well. The customer was really happy, too. In fact, uh, they took a shower in it last night, like I said, and they've got their stuff up there. Um, and so um, I'm out of here. Actually, I have another bathroom in this house that I'll be doing. Um, I've already started it, but you know I'm leaving tomorrow to go back to Atlanta. So uh, I'll probably be back, and I think somebody else is wanting uh, same conversion done, a tub to shower conversion. So most likely I'll be back in about you know two or three weeks to do that as well. Uh, so I'm out of here.